A Surrey RCMP officer is the focus of a criminal investigation for allegedly possessing marijuana and several firearms. No charges have been laid yet, but the case is once again raising questions about why the investigation is being led by detectives from the officer's own detachment. As Catherine Urquhart explains, this comes as Vancouver's police chief calls for a civilian body to investigate how complaints are against officers are investigated. At a morning press conference, Vancouver's police chief makes a plea to the provincial government. I am asking the government to consider expanding the mandate of this proposed agency to handle all complaints against police, not just in custody deaths or serious injury. Chu says this would eliminate the need for the civilian-led Office of the Police Complaint Commissioner. If the IIO, the proposed independent investigation office, investigates all allegations, you wouldn't need the extra layer of civilian oversight over a civilian-led unit. So there would be cost savings for the provincial government in that respect. The VPD's request came as the RCMP announced a Surrey Mountie is the focus of a criminal investigation. A member from our uh, Surrey detachment has been suspended with pay. It's regarding an investigation that started on October 1st, 2010. Uh, it relates to the circumstances surrounding possession of a, a small amount of marijuana and a number of firearms. I can't get into any greater detail than that at this point because it's, it's obviously very early in the investigation. For Vancouver Police, one consideration is money. Since the new Police Act was brought in, the cost of investigations has jumped 46 percent to 2.5 million dollars. Also a major concern, the public's trust. Expanding the mandate of the proposed independent investigation office would not only improve public confidence in the investigation of allegations against police officers, it would allow every police agency to concentrate more resources on investigating crime.